Okay, so I have to admit, I got the name completely wrong and looked on Walking Highlands when I got home for the pronunciation of it. And I think it's Scar Cos Nebrek We, which means the peak of the hollow of the speckled carb. Hello again. Today I'm going down the side of Loch Aking to do Scar Corbanuk Lochon, which is a core bear. I don't think I said that right. Um, Finally come out of the tree line on the lock side now and we're uh, working away up the hillside to the parking spot at the bottom of the Corbair. Your think is up there. You'd never get down this road in the winter time, it's a bit gnarly. Well, look at that for a view. There's a boffy just over there. Let's see if we can get the zoom out and capture it. That's an eagle flying round in the clouds. But all in all, nice day for a walk. Here we are, I've made it. We're at uh, the Loch Arking parking spot, uh, getting ready to go up the Scar Scar Cos Nar Bacard. Don't think I pronounced that right, <clears throat> but a lovely view as you can see behind me. Uh, and just over here is a little buffy somewhere, just there. And uh, spin you around and zoom in and show you. But sun's coming out, so it looks like it'd be a nice day for a walk. Uh, six or seven hours, 800 and 86 meters above sea level for a core bear. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens up there. But it's a lovely day for it. Here we go, the uh, first part of the uh, Glen Dassery. Trail. It's all uh, hard standing and that. Looks like they've got some deer management going on. I think we're going up to this ridge here. So we'll see if we can find a couple of the boffies along the way. So we're parked here at the minute. So we're going to go along this gated road. But yeah. Be a nice easy walk for the time being. Hopefully the weather holds out. Well, just go over the brow of a hill, past a uh, old crofting shepherd's uh, pen. That's the path there that takes me up and around. But behind us, I turn around here. I don't know if you'll see them. We'll zoom in. Just some deer down there. Stags. I reached the first fork in the road. We're heading towards Tom Dom. That's 18 kilometres. This takes us up round here. I think we're going up that pinnacle over the top there, is where we're headed. Well, don't quite know how far I'll get up here today because I've just bumped into two guys that are uh, coming back. They've been stopping out in the boffy. We've had quite a lot of rain and uh, they're saying that it's like knee height bog water 
and no matter how good your gaiters are, it's a pain in the ass to get them out. So they were stuck the other side of it, so they had to get through it, whereas I don't need to go through it if I don't have to. So we'll get to the end of the path and uh, see how bad the bog is, but I'll show you where we're going. We're going all the way up here. See how boggy it is with Sam sitting in the puddle there. But we're going up to where the waterfall is. And I'm gonna go along this ridge line, across the top there, up and round, right up to the top there. But <clears throat> go and see what's happening at the waterfall, see if we can get down to it, show you around there. Come on Sam! So the path diverts away from the waterfall a bit, so we'll just divert off the path and we'll walk along the edge of the waterfall in the stream. Sam will just stop for a quick break, put the gaiters on because the floor's a bit boggy, get the walking poles out and uh, we'll attack it again. Well, this is hard going along this ridge, there's no real path. It's a concoction of sheep and deer trails and uh, ATV tracks and bits of all sorts. But we're nearly at the top now, I reckon. Another 20 minutes and we'll be on the top ridge line rather than coming up the side and hopefully that'll make it a bit easier going. Oh yeah, beautiful views. Oh, absolutely stunning. We'll see what they have from the top. Uh, just about to rock slab which I'm going to walk up because it's easier going in the boggy grassy ground. Sam's back there on the path. I'll spin you around but the other side of this hump when I get there is a stag. It's uh, drinking out of the stream, out of the berm as it runs back down through the valley. So we're going to sneak up on it and see if we can catch it. So at the uh, banks of Loch Arking and uh, just come down one of the trails near the car park just come down to the loch and uh, stumbled across this which would have been a old shepherd's hut for crofting 
about all that's left is a fireplace. It looks all the way down the lock. See, there's the old jetty there. Just pulled over to take some photos of the deer and uh, spotted a sign at the side of the road, so I thought I'd stop and have a look. <clears throat> The random things you see on Scottish roads. So, back down there is a uh, back down there is a logging lorry, which you'll probably see on the time lapse. And we now have a wrecker reversing down a single track road. Well, that was <laughs> 